Well, you might be able to tell the difference from um, how my sump pump was last time to how it is now. Um, we had a catastrophic failure where stones got uh, caught in my emergency pump. My main pump got clogged. My emergency pump failed because uh, stones got clogged in the uh, check valve and the check valve remained open and it was a city water system and the problem with the city water system is when the check valve is open and uh, it's not sucking up anything water will actually backflow through the system so I just said heck with it and went with an actual pump now granted it is a uh, it's a 2,000 gallon per hour, so it'll it'll maintain the water level in emergency. Um, but it's a nice unit. I installed it myself. Have it wide connected up there, and uh, it looks a little bit neater than last time. I'm just so installed up to my my drain line, um, and it also what you can see there. Is that's part of my security system I haven't properly installed it yet so I just have it sitting there but that's my um, that's my water detector and it works nice because the the alarm unit is in the bedroom and the old water the old water alarm the main speaker was down here and it didn't do anything you couldn't even hear it when you were sleeping so um, this one will actually send a signal to the um, to the alarm unit, which is in the bedroom. It'll wake you up, and then you receive a phone call from the security company. Come on down here and install, or come on down here and check what's going on. So if for some odd reason that pump fails and that pump fails, I have that pump. It's an 800 watt pump, and uh, I have it plumbed still. I have some spare piping right there. And worst case scenario is uh, I'll pull this stuff out and run a line up and pop the screen out there and just throw it out in the backyard. It'll at least keep the basement dry. So, and I gotta take this PEX tubing out of here. This is all from the old system. So. Well, this is a result of the basement flood. Basement's finally dry. It took a little under a week and uh, that was from multiple steamings and um, sucking up the water with the shop vac but um, we were very fortunate knock on wood that it dried as quick as it did and that uh, I woke up within an hour of it flooding um, so we were really able to just tackle it and uh, but anyways we moved these shelves right here these shelves were over in my section of the basement and um, we moved them over here because we really wanted to just have all food storage and everything over here. But uh, all our, this is all of our canning supplies. This is our extra kitchen stuff here. Um, and then this is my existing food storage shelf that we had here. And you can see some of my soups and the odds and ends. And there's all my fish antibiotics and household supplies and then uh, you know got the meats and things like that there and those are all my baked goods um, we use those quite a bit let me go through, go through those quite a bit um, and then we went to Sam's Club and uh, got these shelves these shelves were uh, only 69 cents each or I'm sorry not 69 cents um, $69 each um, they hold, it says it holds 800 pounds per shelf, but um, I highly doubt it's 800 pounds per shelf because the tops of the shelves are wood. The framing's nice, but the tops of the woods are, the top of the wood is, uh, or top of the shelf is wood, so. And then up here you have, uh, that's all the salt in two liter bottles. The salt and uh, oatmeal. And we have some sugar. And uh, there's some milk. Here's all of our flour and our sugar, brown sugar, more baking flour. Our honey's going to go right here. And uh, I'll probably get a five-gallon pail or two of uh, 
of hard wheat, or probably not so hard wheat, but soft, uh, soft wheat berries. So that way we can uh, make our own flour because I do. We do have a flour maker. It's right there in the corner if you can't see it. Spaghetti, a lot of rice, and then uh, of course the bee stuff, and then good old dark closet for all of our canned goods and then over here is just it's still a mess that's it's all dry but it's a mess that's where Anna makes all of her lotions and soaps and everything and if you see there I have it I made it a nice little office for her so she's uh, she's got the table easily sterilized table all the oils and there's all of her uh, material on the side and I mounted a little table there for her computer so that way she can look up recipes and things like that and she doesn't have to take her computer upstairs down here so uh, that worked out well and here's my side finally semi cleaned off the table and uh, we were able to put one of those shelves over here Got all my cooking stuff on the shelf here. I don't even know what I'm put, gonna put on these shelves yet. I know the bottom's gonna be water, um, water and water containers, and uh, so water sterilization and biohazard stuff, kind of like your most important things. And then I don't know what'll go here. Not sure what'll go here either. Um, but this is the cooking stuff up there, and then uh, hodgepodge shelf. There's the um, gun rack container first aid container and some tarps and uh, just a random um, random table oh you know what I could do all my bug out stuff right here bug out bags That'll, that's what can go out there Faraday cage that didn't need, need to be moved that was nice um, and then of course the gun cabinet right there and if any of you didn't see this is how I have all my magazines um, stored. Just grabbed myself a shoe container, shoe holder, back of the door shoe holder. Hold two magazines each. They uh, they work out really well actually. So, well, hopefully over the next few weeks I'll get this thing fully organized. Um, my wife's been uh, phenomenal in working through this stuff and throwing a lot of stuff away, purging it. So every house needs to eventually have a purge. So, all right. Well, I hope you enjoy this video. 